Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing really, really great. Um, so today I'm going to discuss with you about my poetry collection. If you do not know already, I am a big fan of poetry. I love reading poetry. I also like writing poetry. And if you're interested in seeing what I write, I share some of it on my Instagram. So you can follow me there. The link obviously will be in the description. I'll also mention the handle on the screen itself. So yeah, you can do that if you want to. Um, but you know, for someone who likes poetry as much as I do, my poetry collection is very little. I don't know why i think part of the reason is that if i start reading a lot of poetry that uh, then i um i just kind of can't help imitating someone whom i'm reading and i want to remain original and all that so yeah but i really want to you know read more of um good poetry but anyways uh, i thought i'll discuss with you whatever i have read so far and i'll let you know if i like it or not and if i recommend it or not so without further ado let's get started okay so my entire poetry collection whatever books i have are over here so these are all my books of poetry and i'll take you through them one by one the first one that i finished reading very very recently is this one by um, Rumi, Rami. I really don't know how it's pronounced. So let me know in the comments if you know it. So yeah, this is the one I finished reading recently. I've had it for quite a lot of time now, but uh, I never really completely understood the poems. I always thought them very complicated and um, yeah, just a lot of them just flew over my mind. But then, you know, this time I just sat down, gave it a lot of time since we have a lot of it on our hands and I read it word by word, sentence by sentence and now I can say that I um, understood almost all of it. This is obviously a translation in English. I think the poems were originally written in Persian and I also believe that a lot of essence is always lost in translation but then obviously I couldn't help it because I can't read Persian but I think um, you know, they have done a pretty good job with translations as well. Um, the poems, poems were still very meaningful and beautiful. So I think, yes, if you're someone very patient, if you can um, give time to understanding what you're reading, then I think you should definitely go for this one. Obviously, the next two are by Rupi Kaur, Milk and Honey and Sun and Her Flowers. And I love both of these books equally yeah overall the collection is um, nice she writes really well as well I, i'm really inspired by rupi Kaur's writing as well and yeah i think anyone you know even if you're someone who does not like to do a lot of thinking while you're reading you don't want to go too deep and you just want to enjoy what you're reading without thinking a lot about it then i think rupi Kaur's books are the perfect choice for you Okay, so the next one is The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. This one also has illustrations by the author himself. And um, okay, this one took me a lot of time to finish. The It's just really difficult to read and understand the poems. But yeah, I, anyways, I finally did. So this is not for you if you don't like reading difficult poems and the language is difficult just the ideas presented in the poem poems are also very complex and difficult so this takes a hell lot of time at least it took for me so if you're not that patient of a reader this is not for you but if you are and if you like meaningful poems then you can go for it okay next one is selected poems of Gulzar, um, translated by Pavan K. Verma. Now, I really, really like Gulzar's writings. Um, you know, he has written the lyrics for a lot of Bollywood songs. So I just love how creative he is with words. And that is exactly the reason why I went for the book because a lot of Gulzar's poetry is available online and I could have read it just there and not spent my money on the book. But I just really wanted to have a collection of it with me. Mm, but I am really disappointed. So whatever poems have been selected to put into this book, they are definitely not Gulzar's best poems. I just liked a couple of um, 
poems in it. I have to say the translator has done a good job. So that's another thing. But the poems themselves, they are not very um, good. So I won't recommend you uh, spending your money on this book. If you are a fan of Gulzar like me, maybe just, you know, find another book that you think is a good one or just read him online. Uh, this is not worth spending your money on. Okay, next one is I Smell of Sorrow, You Look Like Love by Vani Sundar. She was my senior in school. And yeah, I like this book. And I also did a complete review. So if you want to see that and then decide for yourself, I leave the link over here on the screen and you can go and check that out. All right, the last one is The World's Greatest Poems. It has poems from poets from around the world. It has like Oscar Wilde, Dhan Gopal Mukherjee, Rabindranath Tagore, William Shakespeare. So yeah, it has collection of all these poets' works. And um, again, I would say, most of the poems are difficult to understand. I couldn't understand them at first, but you know, I'm studying English literature and I think that has really helped me in understanding the poems in this one. I think um, they just need some, you just need some, sometimes you need background to the author or to the time period when the poem is written and all that. So you need the understanding of all that all those things to finally understand the poems uh, otherwise i think this is a great book to have because obviously all these writers um they are like legends you know and um, to have their works with you is always great so in that way you can have this collection yeah i hope you get my point so yeah these were all the poetry books that i have with me and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any other poetry book that you read and you think is amazing and I should read, please let me know in the comments. I definitely would want to uh, read it. Also, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button and the like button on my channel if you like this video.